Hi, this is Pete Lyons with another Let's Play Salesforce video, and today we're doing part six of Einstein Analytics Binding Basics. Last time we figured out how to dynamically change the color of our reference line as the average amount was changed by our limit toggle. Uh, this time we're going to figure out how to dynamically change the label as it changes, and also how to dynamically show or hide uh, text messages on the screen. So let's get started. Uh, down here we have the output of our SACWL step lens underscore one. That guy is pulling from amount underscore one, which is being dynamically filtered uh, based off of this toggle selector's input to our reference step. So starting to get pretty, pretty, uh, pretty deep here. And to continue, uh, we're going to want to expand uh, our existing SACWL query to generate additional columns that are going to be passed into different places in our dashboard. So let's take a look at that query. Hop into the editor. I'm going to look for the word lens. I'm going to spell the word lens correctly. And here we are. Now to clone a column, I got case all the way to color. This is, uh, this is what generates the uh, color column is our case statement here and it's outputting as, as color, so I'm going to copy that, paste it in a place. There has to be a comma between uh, each field that we're projecting. And I can't use color twice. I have to name it something else. So we're going to name it label. And let's take a look at what that gives us. So uh, effectively, so far we have just cloned that column. Now we want to do something slightly different with it. Instead of displaying the hex values, I want to display the names of these colors. So we're going to replace this one with blue. We're going to replace this one with green. And we're going to replace this one with red. Let's see what that gets us. It gets us a syntax error. Um, there's an extra quote right here. So now when it's blue, we get the hex code for blue and the word blue, green and green, red and red. Now where are we going to put that information? Well, let's put it over the label of our reference line. Um, this is the really, this is where we get to the cool part of this video. Uh, for anybody who's ever used formula fields or uh, to generate dynamic text strings or used uh, flow to generate chatter messages with you know, proper, proper grammar and Oxford commas and all that. If you get a kick out of this stuff, you're going to really like this. If you like the game Mad Libs, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to include this as part of a dynamic string. So this is my, and I'm going to take the exact same binding statement that I've got right above there, I'm going to stick that in like it's a Mad Lib. And instead of grabbing from the color column, I'm going grab from our new label column. Uh, this is so easy. I almost feel like it's cheating. Uh, I love this trick. Um, we're going to dynamically build our text string. So I'm going to hit Done. And look at that. Now our label is also calling out what color it is. This is my green line. And this is my red line. Now, let's say that red lines are a bad thing. Uh, we don't want to see red lines. So what we want to do is we're going to create a text block now. Uh, it's going to say red alert. We want it to appear only when the value is red. So let's go ahead and create a text block, or text block right here. Put some text onto it. Red alert, and we are going to change the widget background to be transparent. And while we're at it, we're going to copy the RGB value of transparency onto our clipboard. Go ahead and hit choose. Now we need to hop into our code editor and make another modification to our SACL query. 
We're going to want to create a column that's going to give me transparent when the value is anything except red, and the hex code for red when it's red. So uh, let's find our query again. It's right here. Now I'm going to do something totally not best practices, and I'm going to use my dashboard editor as like a backup clipboard. So I'm going to paste that RGB value there uh, just so that I don't misplace it while I'm doing this part. It's totally not best practice. I'm sorry. So <laughs> I'm going to clone the label column now. And I've grabbed the comma from before it just so that I don't have to type quite as much. And instead of calling it label, we're going to call it message. And uh, in, so when it's red, well, I want to display the hex code for uh, red, right? And when it's green, I want to get this off of my dashboard editor and put that instead when it's green. And this is, the, again, the RGB code for transparency. Now, I don't really need this blue value here because if it's blue, I still want to do the same thing, and I'm already going to catch anything in there because I'm saying greater than 1.3 million. Well, 1.4 million is still greater than that. So I can get rid of this whole part. Um, we have three whens, or we have two whens and an else. And I really, right now, I only need one when and an else. So we'll get rid of that. And let's look at the column that it creates. So now we've got blue. And we've got the hex code, or we've got the RGB value for transparency. When we switch to green, we still get transparency. And when we switch to red, we get the hex code for red. So let's attach this to our red alert. Control F, find the word alert. This right here is where we're passing in the, the text color. So we're going to replace our hex code value with the same kind of binding that we had above. We're going to do cell. Cell is going to take three arguments. The first argument is going to be the name of the step. Dot result. The second argument is going to be zero because that's the index of the row that we want to pull from. The third argument is going to be the name of the column that we want to pull that cell from. And we're going to hit Done. And I have a syntax error. Real quick, by the way, I'm hitting the Done button, and nothing's happening. Looks like I'm uh, locked out of my, my code here. Looks like I, I've lost, but I actually haven't. Uh, so first, let's take a look at what that syntax error is. I forgot my data serialization function. So I'm going to do dot as string, open close parentheses. Now, I believe that correcting the syntax error is going to uh, allow the dashboard to work, but right now I got nothing. I'm hitting Control, I'm hitting Done, nothing's happening. So I made the edit because my text editor still works. I'm going to do Control, Control A, Control C to copy that text. Now I'm going to reload my tab. And we, you see that we've lost all of our changes since the last save, but we actually haven't. We have them on our clipboard. Control E, A for all, V to paste over it. And so hopefully, if I've successfully corrected this syntax error, now the dashboard's not going to be corrupted, and I'll be able to see the update. Look at that. So now, it's blue, I shouldn't see anything. It's green, I shouldn't see anything. When I click all, I should see something. And there's our red alert. And we saved ourselves from uh, losing everything from our previous save. So I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, tell a friend, make a suggestion. Uh, as always, thanks for watching.